All right, guys, welcome back to Weekend Smile. The coronavirus pandemic has caused many of us to assess our lives and figure out the things that are most important to us. Gospel recording artist Jermaine Edwards joins us now to have this discussion. Good morning, Jermaine. Hi, Jermaine. How are you? Good morning. Good to see you. Jermaine, how has the pandemic been uh, for you? I know I see a lot of, you know, our gospel artists you now online, yourself, Ryan, Mark, you have something ongoing. How has it been for you? I mean, it's it's been very, very good. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be a weird um, way to describe it for a lot of persons. But I've been very active. Um, I've been living actually a better quality life. You know what I mean? This is why I started new stuff and my music is doing very, very... I've never seen this online sales ever in my life. Wow. So it's a very good season for me. That's great to hear, Jermaine. So, I mean, <laughs> seeing as though you have seen things improve drastically, how right. important it is for you to have this voice and to have a voice on social media? I mean, a lot of persons may believe that... Um, social media of our look right and sometimes it's just all about the cars all about my house all about what i have but you know people are real you know yeah there's a lot of persons who want to be motivated by what you have but also people want to be inspired so the truth is you can balance it you can motivate people to want things or you can inspire people to be become better persons in life mm -hmm. and that is the kind of road that i'm taking the more of an inspirational kind of kind of road so what do you have? You do have you do a live or you do you do like short videos? How you yeah. format your content? Okay. How you I do format a lot the content? Videos um, and cartoon characters stuff. And then what I do is like I put the quotes on there because I know social media kind of look a bit, you know, you have to get their people attention. Yeah. So I, I'm not good at the live yet as yet. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit scary. I'm scared about it. I think probably... I'm more wondering if people are going to come on. Well, but one time, one of my friends, um, Tina, she did a live with me on it. I didn't even know she was doing a live because I didn't know the live work. But thousands of persons came on. And I I, I think one day I'm going to just get over my fears and just start. And you just should start. do it. I saw, yeah. him, on, I saw, I saw him on Bishop Harbour's um, live one yeah. night. And you were pretty good. Thank you. So, yeah. so, Thank you. So, Jeremy, okay. with, with the content that we... I mean, we're going to be looking out for the live, holding you to that, you know, to just jump out and jump over those fears and to kickstart the live. But right. the, for the content that you have been putting out so far, tell us about the feedback, you know, and, and probably some memorable ones, some persons that you've touched. Tell me about some of the feedback. I mean, one of the things about when, I, when I'm not online or when I'm not posting, when I do post... People let me understand. Yeah, they've been wondering why I'm not saying anything or what do I have to say about this situation? What's going on in this world right now? Um, you know, I'm a Christian, but you know, what most of the, the if I if I mean the base I want to subscribe to, but most of the principles and the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that comes from the Bible, it is applicable to our personal lives. Yeah. So there's an answer for every single thing that we do. And even when you come on to business ethics, principles, waking up in the morning, sluggards like ants, and so forth. So what I do is like I use the cartoon characters or where probably I'm just somewhere in the sea or whatever the start. And I just, you know, find where, where whenever something has come to me, I just either find an image or just say it. How I feel right now, if I feel sad, if I feel depressed, if I feel lack of motivation, I, I don't want to go on. I feel like I'm giving up. I just post whatever I'm going through. Wow. And somebody who and that's basically my songs anyway you know you can't find a german other song for every single thing so that would have been basically my life yeah yeah, yeah. self-auditing Jermaine, and and realizing what what is really important in life and how we are paying attention to what is important in life can sometimes be very hard because yeah. right because it's a truth that we have to come to no sir yeah so how do we like, do that though how, how do we do that yeah covid covid would have kept a lot of persons inside right and if if we we are not seeing our friends' cars and we're not seeing the clothes and we're not seeing the shoes, then other things become more important. Yeah. So one would, you know, like when the pandemic was coming on, I paid on a nice E-class Mercedes Benz, and that was in January and February. Things start to on March, then thing, and I went back for my deposit because I said, you know what? This is not about no luxury car right now. This is about looking at my income and what I'm spending on a monthly basis. And some people want to keep up with the Jones. 
but not understanding that the Jones may be suffering or the Jones may be just living and to mouth. Though they drive a nice Mercedes Benz, though they drive a nice Range Rover, but they look good on the outside, but they're not living a quality life. Yeah. So sometimes what you really need to do to pay attention is to close your eyes and, and, what, and what the world is showing you and focus on what is important and what you need and not necessarily what you want. Oh, awesome stuff there, Jermaine. I mean, you, you touched on a, on, a, on a lot of things, you know, assessing yourself and, and just finding that me time, closing your eyes, but yet still you are comparing it to keeping up with the Jones and all these material things that not only we see physically, but on social media. Why do you think that these things are so important to, to us? Especially I mean, now. Every, everybody compares themselves sometimes, and that is what the, what, where the problem is, comparing yourself to somebody. Not all of us have the same dreams yeah. or goals because we don't sleep in the same bed. So, some people may say, my dream is to own my own board house. And you'd wonder, why that person don't have no ambition? But they may be sleeping on, on, on a concrete floor for a while and never sheltered. And he wished that one day he would own his own board house. Yeah. There are many people who are not living in that situation. So their dreams will be a little bit more different. What we need to do is to understand staying in our own lanes, understand what we need, and that is that is that is where you can go around. Okay. But I don't know, Jermaine. Hold on, more ask, but Jermaine, hold on, I don't know, because one of the prayers, right? One of the, one of the constant prayers that we always pray is for abundance, Lord. Bless me indeed. Bless me, you know. Mm -hmm. um, enlarge my territory and make, give me more and yep. more and more in those things that we think, you know, will also add to the quality of our lives that you just mentioned a while ago, you know, living a quality life. So is yeah. it, you're, you're not necessarily saying, though, that aspirations or your need to find things that will also, you know, add to the joy in your life are bad. Right. That's not what you're saying, right? For example, if you if you want to go and get a nice Range Rover, right? And you're looking at about $20 million if it's brand new or 20 something million dollars, right? You may be getting only two hundred thousand dollars per month. Now, if you go to get a loan for that, you maybe end up paying something about one fifty there about. Now you have your mortgage or you have your rent, you have you have light, you have water, you have gas for that. Um it's, it's a dream. You want to drive a nice car, but at what cost? No, you have to be using a credit card now because you can't. Something got happen, you want to rim them on the tire, go mash up, and you have to buy it for 200000 per one. One control arm, look out, and it's 100000 <laughs> in a European person. So I know yeah. putting in a control arm, what that, that do? You know, when you, when you, when you go to Mandela and, and I fix the road, yeah, 120000 now. Mash up, less so, than three. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> So if, if 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 you look at where you are, yeah, maybe the Range Rover may not be it. Maybe a nice a luxury, luxurious car at a cheaper rate or a second and one may be there. Or probably a nice Accord or Toyota or whatever the sad, just until you can build yourself up to there. But we keep running down our spends and and we'll be all right. And, we, and this brain has said, um, don't do it, don't do it. But then you see a friend. And you just want to look a particular way and just to be a part of it. So the most important thing is to look at what you're getting on a monthly basis. What can you afford? And 30% of that is what you actually should be using for your for loans okay. and have 70%. But people use 70% and only have 30% leave. Okay. That's okay. The problem. All right. So I hear that you have a Toyota Voxy. Tell us about that. Um, you know, that Voxy I bought that, you know what I mean? And I came from um Benz and BMW, the on a stream, then a boxy. And, and that was what brought me through the, the pandemic, right? Because normally when you have the European car, and everybody will understand this, they don't drive that to Mobile, you don't drive that all over the place. They actually just drive it around town and drive it, and then you use the other lower class vehicle to take the country road because you don't really want to put the mileage on it and the sensors this and all these different things. But I realized that I could actually just get up and drive go every day at Kingston, drive go mobile, drive go Monday, just drive all over the place. And I've been driving that vehicle for about two, three years now, and I've not even bought a front end part for it. Mm. Do you yeah, know, they, that, I mean, so I'm, good. I have to ask you before we go, right? Nobody was this the moment yes. that you realized <laughs> what was important to you? Yeah. That was the moment. That was your aha moment. Oh, I realized 
that some of these things are really, I, I mean, you have doctors and lawyers in America that takes taxis and train to work on a, on a morning. Sometimes in Jamaica, we kind of watch it because everything in the music is about what you, what you drive, what you this, what you that, what you, and, 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 and to a lot of people who really have the money, you don't see their money. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't see what they have, but if you go to them house and you see the kind of stuff that's inside of there, and maybe they have more than one vehicle, but you don't see even the high class people not even put it out on social media one time. Well, so, Jermaine, you've been dropping gems all morning, like all morning about assessing yourself and finding out what's important to you and just living your reality, but not yeah. being afraid to aspire, you know, inspire as well and to work yeah. hard. But we got to go now. So thank you so much for joining us, Jermaine. It's a pleasure. It was a pleasure speaking to you. And we, 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 we're looking forward to hearing from you soon, all right? And the live, and the live. And the live. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, it's time for a break. We'll soon come. <laughs>